Greetings everybody, welcome to Dubai for the very first Dubaian Grand Prix in the Formula 1 2022 season. We are here at the Dubaian Autodromo. Dubai itself plays host to the world's tallest building. There it is right there, 829.8 meters tall, 2,722 feet. Amazing stuff indeed. Formerly known as a fishing village from the 18th century, now a 21st century cosmopolitan metropolis with the second most five-star hotels in the world, making it a tourism hotspot. And here is the circuit, of course, 16 corners makes up this track, 5.377 kilometers, that's 3.341 miles, making up this incredible track. And we're coming here for the first time racing Formula One cars, as we now take you through the starting grid for this race. Charles Leclerc boasting at a very impressive performance in qualifying at 129.786, the time to beat. Daniel Ricciardo joins him on the front row. Lewis Hamilton in P3 with Max Verstappen alongside on P4. Fernando Alonso, P5 for Alpine. George Russell, now newly crowned Mercedes driver this season. Carlos Sainz in P7 with Lando Norris in P8. P9 goes to Sebastian Vettel with Sergio Perez in P10 for Red Bull. P11 goes to Pierre Gasly in his debut season for Alpine. Lance Stroll joining him on the same row in P12. Yuki Tsunoda in P13 for Alfa Tauri. Robert Schwartzman in his debut season for Alfa Romeo joining him too. Mick Schumacher in P15 with Yuri Vips in the Alfa Tauri car as well. P16. Kimi Raikkonen back again in P17. Nicholas Latifi in P18. And rounding us off, Jack Aitken starts P19 with Nikita Mazepin starting P20 on the grid. It's set to be a corker of a race, folks. First light, second light, third light, fourth light, the fifth light. And it's pedal to the metal, go, 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 go. And immediately Charles Leclerc getting a brilliant start there, but alongside Daniel Ricciardo with the advantage, heading down towards turn one, Max Verstappen going wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton as well. Those two brilliant drivers dueling it out here at the Dubai Autodromo, but leading the charge, Daniel Ricciardo. A great move indeed, relegates Charles Leclerc down into P2. Lewis Hamilton dispatches Max Verstappen, who's proven to be a very tricky customer there on the inside, battling for P3, Hamilton trying to fight back, but still, if they go wheel to wheel, Fernando Alonso down in behind as well, George Russell under pressure as well from Carlos Sainz, but it looks like Russell might have the upper hand, looking at it on paper as well, Max Verstappen losing out, I think to Lewis Hamilton, in comes Fernando Alonso, as they come down now towards the next right hander, Max Verstappen now in jeopardy, in comes Alonso down the inside now, Brilliant stuff there from the uh, from the Spaniard now driving for Alpine. And I have to say the French team have been delighted with that. There's the McLaren of Lando Norris on Sebastian Vettel. There's Fernando Alonso once again trying to go back toe-to-toe -to -toe there with Lewis Hamilton. And of course the world record champion holder here this season in the Dubai and Grand Prix. Brilliant by Fernando Alonso. Really bringing it here to our multiple world champion Lewis Hamilton. Around the next left-hander here at turn 14. Hamilton and Alonso. Dueling out here in Dubai. Excellent stuff here. Alonso though on top. The Alpine battles through. Amazing start there by Fernando Alonso as they begin their lap two of 57. Max Verstappen as well in the midst of a potential move himself. You can see Hamilton in his sights rushing down towards turn one. The 90 degree right hander. Huge advantage if he can get the inside line. And as he does so, he does brilliantly. Brilliant from Max Verstappen. And I have to say, you can see George Russell there looking to make a charge here. In comes the Haas this time. I believe that's Mick Schumacher there on one of three. Robert Schwartz, and I have to say two to that. The two very talented youngsters. And here in lap two on 57, here he comes. The McLaren this time of Lando Norris. And uh, brilliant on board shots here as they ran the next right. There you can see the two Mercedes tagging together as well as in front Carlos Sainz. And there's the Alfa Romeo of uh, what looks to be is that the one and only Kimi, is that Kimi Raikkonen? It is Kimi Raikkonen there. Here in lap five, and it uh, looks like Latifi on Robert Schwartzman. Wheel to wheel once again between these two. Of course, Williams um, still yet to get themselves back to better days, but Latifi doing his all there, going past Robert Schwartzman, but still wheel to wheel. Latifi still trying to grind out a positive performance here, and could well do so at this Dubai Autodromo circuit. Gets the inside line, and that's enough to tuck him up in the P15. Great stuff indeed, as now we're also witnessing Sebastian Vettel. Uh, of course, ex-Ferrari man, now Aston Martin for a couple of seasons, now battling with Lando Norris, and uh, Norris, 
grooming to have the better line heading through the next left as he now right on board with Sebastian Vettel. Uh, down towards the next right hand, a very stiff cornering here at the Dubai Auto Drummo circuit and uh, losing a little bit of traction on the outset, but uh, I have to say superb and well held there by Sebastian Vettel, down towards the next left hand, there's still Lando Norris with him at this moment in time, Sergio Perez just watching on in behind of this, they now round turn 14, down towards turn 15 this time, the Aston Martin on top, at least for the time being, but Lando Norris proving to be a very tough character, but Vettel on top. They were riding on board here, instant replay of Kimi Raikkonen's move here on Robert Schwartzman, and a lovely inside move there, as uh, you can see Latifi in front, great move. Here we are now witnessing uh, a true battle here between these two right now. That, of course, being Max Verstappen and Alonso. Young and old here at the Dubai and also Dromo. Alonso, of course, a former champion, proving that age is just a number. He has got lots of talent, this Spaniard, but so does Max Verstappen. And uh, what a scene for you folks at home, of course, watching this amazing battle take place between two of the greats in Formula 1 as we're now witnessing Fernando Alonso round the next left, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Red Bull, but Max proving that he is a class above right now, and that Red Bull has the better line through the next right hand, a brilliant move indeed, and uh, Max on top. And here once again we're seeing Sergio Perez now trying to tag on Sebastian Vettel, and remember that was Perez's seat. Uh, a couple of seasons back, of course, Vettel now joining formerly Racing Point, now known as Aston Martin. Perez now looking to take him down the inside, leading down towards turn one. You're in lap 17 of 57, and uh, the Red Bull surely. This will be a textbook maneuver heading in on the inside, but can Vettel hold on? I don't think he can, but still wheel to wheel. And uh, Vettel, despite having the outside line heading out of that corner, still trying to challenge you on Sergio Perez, who has the upper hand as we now witness to them heading down towards the next right, Vettel tagging back once again, I have to say, amazing stuff, and uh, not letting uh, Sergio Perez uh, have any respite. As we're now witnessing them head down towards the next straight, and a switch back here, this time from Sebastian Vettel on Lando Norris, and that's a, a nice move indeed. Textbook here in Formula One, a great move by the German. And here we're now running on board with Sebastian Vettel. He's a man on a mission right now and he's dispatched the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. No love lost between Vettel and Ferrari, of course. As uh, we're now witnessing these two go wheel to wheel. Carlos Sainz trying to gain retribution here on, on uh, Sebastian Vettel, but unable to do so. Here in lap 31 and 57, and we're witnessing now a battle between two brilliant drivers once again, Perez and Norris. Uh, the youngster Lando Norris looking to try and have a back on Sergio Perez who is knocking at the door of P9 looking to hold on now as they round the next bend here turn 14 contact there between the two of them on the outset now as they head down this semi straight leading up towards uh, what will be turn 13 into turn 14 very shortly Lando Norris with the inside line for the McLaren team and as they do so wheel to wheel still and uh, despite being on the outside of this line, Perez still very much in touch with him here. Gets the nice move here, heading round turn 15. Smoothly does it here from Perez, gets it done, heading down towards turn 16. Uh, the last corner here of their lap 31 of 57, now lap 32 of 57 here at the Dubai Grand Prix. Great move indeed, but Norris making a chance here. He stays in the slipstream, heading down towards turn one. Here we run on board with the Brit Lando Norris. Down the inside here at turn one, wheel to wheel, there with the Red Bull. As uh, they come around the next left now, and Norris on top there. Great battling indeed by these two. And here we are on lap 40 of 57. George Russell at the mercy of Sebastian Vettel, who takes him on the inside line. A great drive from Vettel here today at the Dubai Grand Prix as he makes his way around the next left hand there. Still the Aston Martin on top, donning the Mercedes engine, and he does so. Brilliant! Here's Charles Leclerc now rounding the next left hand, currently P2 and uh, trying to march his way past the uh, the house of Nikita Mazepin who is uh, right at the back there a little moment there from Charles Leclerc and that opens the door potentially for Max Verstappen who takes the inside line and uh, this will be a great opportunity here for Verstappen to snatch P2 these two have dueled it so many times in the past this house is directly in the way not letting anyone through and still Mazepin has thrown Charles Leclerc off the scent almost but now it looks like the Max Verstappen has guarded himself a P2 spot brilliant as we now have a look at the replay now, there's Charles Leclerc down the inside, we're not sure quite what happened there, contact there with the Haas, and uh, the, the modern gas driver is not going to be pleased with that, and here comes Max Verstappen here as well, amazing scenes, you can just see that that moment cost him so much, and a time penalty, and that's a response there by the stewards, a 10 second penalty 
for ignoring blue flags and causing a collision for Nikita Mazepin. And here's Daniel Ricciardo on the final lap. A tremendous drive today. And he's your driver of the day. 47% of the vote as he rounds the final corner. It's the wonder from down under. Daniel Ricciardo, he's your winner. <laughs> yes, boys. And there's your confirmation there, folks. Daniel Ricciardo is the winner. And second is Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc in P3. Fernando Alonso, P4. Lewis Hamilton in P3. Sebastian Vettel P6, George Russell P7, Carlos Sainz P8, Lando Norris P9, Sergio Perez P10, Lance Stroll P11, Pierre Gasly P12, Yuki Sonoda P13, Mick Schumacher P14, Kimi Raikkonen P15, Nicholas Latifi P16, Yuri Vips P17, Robert Schwartzman P18, Nikita Mazepin P819, and Jack Aitken unfortunately DNFing, and Daniel Ricciardo, your race winner, also picks up the fastest lap.